What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two with this is it cycler deck uh this deck has been actually very fun to play uh though not actually posting a very good performance so we're gonna give it another three games and see how we do uh, i think the next game or the next deck we're gonna do is the artifact deck that we're seeing a lot of right now um we were up against it in game three uh of the first video uh, which i highly recommend you check out you can see kind of the deck list in order and all that stuff there but um unfortunately we did not get the win off of it and that's okay uh i think that deck is sweet though we're gonna play it in the next one so let's see how we do looks like lura sacrifice um which i don't know how this fares against lura sacrifice i think at this time let's do improbable alliance we kind of just want to spit out a bunch of stuff um so i think this is the best way to do it but we'll see croxa huh We'll discard an ominous seize. We've got two of them. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna pay two, and I'm just gonna play this out here. Not only does this block really, really well, uh, but it also kills a bunch of stuff. So it's gonna probably demand a removal spell or, you know, some kind of interaction on the opponent's end. Um, another Croxa, huh? Well, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm on the Ominous Seas plan, so I'm gonna take that out. Neutralize. Hmm. Let's just do this. Might have been better uh, to wait till the opponent's turn. I don't know. Because uh, we could have cycled twice on the opponent's turn. Um, so we would have been able to, to ping something there. But, eh, it's okay. Wow, seriously? Uh, yeah. Croxing hard. Whoops. Sure. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, let's just do this here. Shuffle that back in and draw. Hmm. Steal three. Get another little flyer. Uh, we may not be playing this deck 100% correctly either. I don't know. Um, but I think we're doing okay. They had triple Croxa. That's pretty cool. They may have a fourth one. Um, they don't have the double red, which is pretty crucial. Um, they also don't have enough cards in their graveyard. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool one. Looks like we're dropping some frames here. Sorry about that, guys. I think we're back up. There we go. All right. You. You. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for face. I don't know if that's 100% right, but I'm going to try it. And we're going to swing in here. This just makes sure that we are at lethal next turn if they don't do anything. Um, so I think that's correct. And it gives us the out of like drawing a land. Uh, so if we draw a land, we can improbable alliance. Uh, and assuming we still have both of the pyromancers, we're in okay shape. Not to mention we they have to deal with all this stuff. So I, I think that's the right play. Don't know for sure. I mean, any land or a cycler would like get us there okay that sucks hmm 
Maybe it was correct to, to do that. I don't know. Well, actually, I don't know. Either way, I mean, they're going to get a good creature here. So I guess we we just need to see what they come up with. But it can't be above two mana. So... We'll see. We will see. They do get rid of our thing, which is a sad day. But, hey, can't win them all. Um, I will say this is probably the best chance we've had of winning. <laughs> uh, yep, got your red. If they attack in... Yeah, I was going to say, we're not going to block. Okay, well, that is a card. Um... I mean, we don't have to think too hard about this, right? L but let's play this out. Then let's do this. Then let's do this. There we go. We got a win! Heck yeah. I don't know why we keep dropping frames here, guys. I do apologize. That seems to happen from time to time. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two, though. Uh, if you are not already, I just want to let you guys know you can enter our giveaway, uh, the Acoria giveaway. We're giving away a free bundle of Acoria. Once it comes out, it is coming out on the 15th. Uh, we're going to be giving it away on the 16th. So we're going to be picking the winner uh, on Saturday, May 16th. If you're interested, all you have to do, uh, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you comment. It can be on any video uh, with hashtag Acoria giveaway. That's all you got to do. We'll let you know you entered, uh, and at that point, you are good to go. Uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, we'll see what we're up against, because we can kind of go either Ominous Seas route or Improbable Alliance route. I kind of think that is an either-or kind of thing. Um, I don't think you can really map it out to, to do both effectively. Uh, do we want that? It does draw us a card, so we do have to keep that in mind. I'm going to keep it. It's not amazing. I, it feels bad to keep a, a radical idea on top. But it's a card draw spell, which for us means a lot. I do think maybe we should have dug for like a Pyromancer or something. But, you know, it is what it is. Potentially a mono red list? Maybe? Let's do Improbable Alliance. If they are kind of a red deck win style deck and they're just having a slow start, then having a bunch of little 1-1s one is going to be pretty helpful. Nope, they are Rakdos Sacrifice, I bet. Mardu. Humans? They're just not doing anything. Um, I'm going to try and get this out here now. We're kind of being a bit greedy, uh, but I do think that's kind of what we have to do. If they can kill this, they can kill it. That's fine. The thing is, if they kill this, they're taking their turn to do so. Yeah. Uh, and so... So this is just Grixis. Good stuff. Let's do this, and let's do this. So now if they do have another uh, Edict effect here, uh, Angrass or Rampage, we can just sack the 1-1. One, one. Um, or if they've got a removal spell. Ooh, they're stuck on land, actually. That feels bad, I'm sure. Um, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> and let's do this. All right. See what we can do. Now this radical idea, uh, if we discard a land, we draw a card off of Rael. Uh, so it's actually a draw two, which is kind of nice. Uh, which is great also for, you know, obviously both Improbable Alliance and the now gone Pyromancer. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop the Seas. Um, might as well have a backup plan in mind. Yeah. Oh, that's good. 
Drop a second alliance. Now we're getting extra value for every single card we draw. That is extra. Uh, not to mention we are at six mana now, so improbable, alli improbable alliance can activate itself, uh, which is awesome for us. Just got one to the top. Okay. I'm assuming they got a board clear. I mean, I'm, I fully expect that. Yep. There it is. Ooh. Well, I mean, that's real good. Uh, this is like a must answer, so I'm going to play this out. See what they do. I mean, if they have a removal spell, they got it. That's fine. Um, but they're clearly on a plan of just, like, controlling the board. Uh, and this is a pretty big one to try and control. Wow. Okay. Mistake. Uh, though I don't know if it's the worst mistake in the world. They don't really have much going on still. Um, I'm going to do this. Mm. Ooh, all these cards are good. Um, surprisingly, I think it's this. I don't think that's the card we want right now. Um, and hey, I again, I could be incorrect. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, I, I think that uh, the Royal Scions, while very good, we've got plenty of stuff to activate it already. Okay, so it's a fire, Mardu fires? This is so strange. Um, worth noting, against a like Garuda deck or something like that, I feel like this would not do anything. Um, the Elspeth Cocker's death uh, is very, very good in general. It, it does get something, but like they would have such a time dealing with it all. Um, so one, two, three. Let's do this. Vigilance and Death Touch, huh? Well, neither one of those I care about. So this we actually net more cards, which is super cool because of Rael. Just for the for anyone who doesn't understand this interaction. And now we have a giant eight eight available to us, uh, which we will not play quite yet. <clears throat> Don't care. We're just trying to get in some damage. This is going to potentially help tremendously next turn. Uh, it's worth noting we have nine mana, so we can play this, then do this, which is super cool. Um, really, really like that. But they do have Fires of Invention, and... Uh, I'm sure some pretty powerful stuff, so we'll see what they've got going on. Dead silence. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of this list. I think this is a fun deck. Uh, it's a, I mean, it's a silly kind of value deck, but I do think it's a really good one. Like, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And we have just so many blockers. Like, your flyers don't matter because we have blockers. Unless they get trample, which, like, by all means... Okay, so this does have trample. That's a problem. But we have this to, like, shoot stuff down. Like, it just doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't seem to matter all that much. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. This having trample is actually a bit of a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do this. Block here and block here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take the six here. Woo. 
Ooh, drop some frames there. Sorry, guys. Good. Do this. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, let's shoot this down. <coughs> I'm not going to attack here. Um, this just gives us the out of just straight blocking this. Um, or no, excuse me, it doesn't. It gets a counter. My mistake. But uh, it does let us mitigate a little bit more damage here. And now we're kind of on the Pyromancer plan anyway. So, like, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Block a few damage at least. Seems like a bit of a throwaway, so maybe that wasn't correct, but um, I don't think it matters that much. Ooh, that's dangerous. Um, in fact, that definitely was incorrect, because we could have had potentially lethal. It depends what they do. We have another Pyromancer, so we'll see. We will see. Wow, that would have been good to have before combat. <laughs> Let's just cycle this little bad boy. You, you, and you. We got there. That was kind of surprising. Uh, that felt pretty good. I I enjoyed that. That was really nice. Uh, yeah, that was exactly how this deck is supposed to function. Uh, and it worked out okay. That was nice. So let's do last game. And see how we do. Uh, I do apologize, guys. I know the frame rates are dropping a little bit every now and then. Uh, I think it's just our... Something's, something's clogging up the lines here. I apologize. We have issues with this every once in a while. Um, ugh, double temple is not great. We'll try it. It's either going to be a quick game or depending on what we're up against, if it's like a control deck that's going to grind out. Uh, to be very clear, in playing this deck, uh, the things that I like, first of all, you get a lot of value from every cycle. <laughs> and what I like about that in this deck in particular is it doesn't feel so one-tracked. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you look at the Boros cycling deck, um, you know, I talk a lot of crap about that deck because I just don't think it's very good. But more importantly, I don't think you're attacking on enough different angles. You're kind of just going wide with a bunch of dudes. Now, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with going wide with a bunch of dudes by any means. But I don't think it's enough to truly truly do what you want it to do um because you know if they just have a sweeper deafening clarion a perfect example you just sweep the board and all of a sudden you got nothing now um oh this is the mutate deck that's cool uh and that's very very bad this you sweep the board we still have improbable alliance we still have you know a few different options at the very least to kind of do some different stuff. And I think that is very, very crucial to why I like this deck more. I mean, we did get our land. Uh, this isn't gonna work, but we're gonna... We won't have time to Ominousies, most likely. This deck is really good. It's really sweet. Hmm. If this lives, might have something to do. Probably not gonna.
Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, well, we're gonna start shooting down some stuff. <laughs> that is faux show. Sure. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's do this, and let's do this. Draw a card, we're gonna discard this. We're gonna shoot you. For what it's worth, they did just kind of fizzle. Um, I mean, they're in top deck mode. Uh, and they don't have a good attack, so we're kind of just hoping they don't have anything great. Well, like that. Problem, problem, problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they just gotta land. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Pardon. Mm hmm. Could have been worse. Uh, no, I'm not going to block. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, hmm. Oh, that's not really what I was hoping to get, but... Hmm. I'm gonna cycle this again. We really need to hit lands here, and we're really not hitting lands here. I'm telling you guys, we have bad luck with lands. Uh, I do want to thank everybody really quick also for... I, I know I mentioned the giveaway, but... Um, We've really had some awesome support lately, and I, I just want to thank everybody sincerely for for doing all of that. Um, it means a lot to us. This is why this deck is cool, by the way. Yep. All right. They got it. You win. I'm not I'm not going to fight that one out. They got Agent of Treachery. We're, we're done. Uh, all right. So, thoughts on the deck. Uh, more fun, in my opinion... Uh, and again, I apologize for the frame rates. More fun, in my opinion, than the Boros Cycling deck. Uh, it seems, at least. Again, I haven't played the Boros Cycling. Uh, I like that it attacks on a few different levels, but you do kind of double up on the plans a lot. Uh, you've got, so for instance, what I mean by that, in the two-drop slot, you've got Ominous Seas, and then you have Improbable Alliance. A lot of times, and you saw that in some of these games, you kind of have to pick one. Uh, and then the other one's your backup plan. Nine times out of a, out of ten, I would lean on Improbable Alliance more than the Ominous Seas. Uh, there's a lot of creature decks running around right now. It's great to have a bunch of creatures, and just gaining all that extra value is awesome. Ominous Seas is good, but I do feel like it's the backup plan because it's just it takes a little bit too long. Um, and on three, you have Rael, which we saw there. Uh, well, we saw in a couple games actually where you kind of get them clogged up in your hand. Now that does mean they're good discard fodder which is nice, but didn't always work out. Uh, and then the other kind of big three drop is the Royal Scions, which we've only got two of, I believe, in this list, but uh, is still kind of a double up on the same effect, if that makes sense, um, where you're you're looking to draw and then discard stuff. So either way, I mean, it's a great deck. It's a fun deck. I highly recommend trying it. Uh, but just a heads up, I don't think it's going to be like a tier one deck by any means, uh, but it is a very, very fun one. So definitely recommend trying it out. Please make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Make sure you enter that giveaway. Do appreciate all the support lately, guys. It's been phenomenal. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we genuinely appreciate it. But uh, stay tuned. We'll have more gameplay up very, very soon. And uh, I hope you have a great day. I hope you really do. I'll see you later, guys.